Okay, so I'm really excited to talk to you about something that can make or break a project, and that is fonts. Hello, I'm Paul Tranny, Principal Evangelist here at Adobe, and I want to not only show you how to add text to a project using Creative Cloud Express, but how to pick the very best font for your project, as well as pair fonts and create that perfect type lockup. So let's take a look. As you can see, I'm going to have a painting party, right? Going to have some canvases, some cocktails. It's going to be a lot of fun, right? Um, and I'm going to add a header. So right over here, I'm going to click text, and this is where I add my text. When I mention type lockups, this is what I mean. All these type lockups, we're going to be creating our own. So all I need to do is click add your text. Uh, I'll add my header text. Maker's going to make. It uses the last used font, right? Which happens to be Futura PT Book. Uh, it's a modernist angular font, right? It's a great font if this was a business, but not for a party, right? Uh, and there are no bad fonts out there. There's just bad uses of good fonts. So keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, let's go beyond Futura PT Book. Selecting this drop down, we can peruse through all of these, but I encourage you to go to more fonts and say, hey, you know what? What message am I trying to convey? And if you couldn't read the text, am I conveying that this is a party, right? That we're, where we're going to have fun. Well, uh, that's the question. I want to actually jump into, say, something like rough. Let's try this rough text right here. That might work because, again, it just has a playful look to it. But guess what? There's also a fun category jumping in here. Yeah, I'll try, uh, even though it has a weird name, Embryo Regular, right? I love this because it has that playful nature. So you know it's just going to be a playful, fun party. It looks very organic like somebody drew it. So that's what I want to go with. But we don't want to just add text and call it done because we want to actually create a lovely type lockup. And I love these down here. Go into magic and we can capitalize and fit. There we go. Fit everything to the same width, right? Make it look good. Maybe make this larger like so, right? But let's get rid of the line spacing, otherwise known as the letting, right? We need to tighten that up and we can do that right over here. Line spacing, you guessed it. Tighten that up like so. Uh, and there we have that. Uh, this is a display font, so I want to use it for headers and things like that, right? I wouldn't use this for body copy. Now what I want to do is I want to kind of focus on this painting party, right? We're going to actually pick a different color, kind of move this up here, and we're going to create this type lockup. But I'm realizing, hey, we got a depth issue, right? I need to put this on top. We'll just reorder that layer, put it on top. And now let's have fun with painting party as well. So with that text selected, I want it to say painting, right? Good thing that there's actually a brush pen category right in here and I can select one of these. Now, key thing here is to make sure you never use a script font and make it all caps. Just don't do it. You're not going to be able to read it and this is not going to look good, right? Don't adjust the letter spacing or anything. Like that. Just leave it alone, right? Let the font do all of the work. If anything, we can give it a little bit of angle and this is what I want to do. Have consistency with our lines and then add an element that's fun and different to, to make it interesting to your eye, okay? But type has one job uh, before it, which is just to convey information in writing. And I'm losing that text right in here. Yeah, yellow on white is not necessarily a good call. So throw a shadow right in there. And sure enough, we could set that off. And uh, I'm kind of into that. I like how it's a little bit 80s, right? Kind of like how that's set up. Right down here, body copy is different. It's not going to be a display font that's just um, you know, loud and fun, keep it simple, Arial, Helvetica, Futura, that sort of thing. But make it elegant by adjusting the line spacing and the letter spacing. Take up some of that room, right? Make it look elegant and sure enough, add a little drop shadow right there. And that's what I have for my invite, as you can see. Now let me know what you think of the fonts that I've chosen by adding a comment below. That'd be great. And be sure to like and subscribe for the latest and helpful tips so you can make your best work ever.